shout out to Grinning Lolita for this video idea. If you have a video idea, drop it down below in the comments and you could get a shout out in upcoming videos. Yo, what is up? I hope you're doing amazing today. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Austin. Today's video, we're going to talk about the best DIYs to craft to make a ton of bells, right? Now, generally, most DIYs, they sell for double the price of the price of goods. Now, for all the DIYs that we're going to cover in this video, the Bell Boom Ordinance will be turned on. So those would be the prices. So just keep that in mind. And I highly recommend turning on the Bell Boom Ordinance if you haven't already on your island, if your goal is to make money in Animal Crossing. So without further ado, let's get straight into the video. All right, so the first item that we are going to talk about is the barbell. All right, so the barbell is a very good item to craft. Uh, it should be one of the beginning ones you get. You get the barbell from a jock villager. Um, what's really nice about the barbell is that it only takes one material to craft, and that is an iron nugget. All right. And as you probably know, iron nuggets are very easy to get. Um, you just get them by hitting your rocks on your island. I think there's like six rocks on an island. I do believe. I think there's like six rocks. And if that's not enough rocks for you, you can actually go to like mystery islands and Cap'n islands and hit more rocks and get more iron ore. Because one of these barbells, it takes about 10 iron ores to craft a barbell. Isn't that right, Bob? Yeah, that's right. Just keep on walking. <laughs> checking out that coconut tree hey bob um there's actually no coconuts on that coconut tree so you're gonna have to wait till tomorrow to have snack day all right <laughs> but yeah barbells are a good item to craft they sell for nine thousand bells each at the nook's cranny the cost of goods would be 4500 bells all right so the next diy to craft that can make you bells now this diy is good if you're a beginner if you're just starting out in animal crossing or if you reset your island and you need some bells and you want something fast and easy to make i recommend coconut juice and also coconuts are a really good alternative if you don't have non-native fruit on your island so if you don't have any non-native fruit, uh, you can easily get coconuts from the Mystery Islands and the Cap'n Islands. And you can also plant your own little coconut farm right here. I got a small little coconut farm right here going on. But yeah, instead of like just, you know, selling coconuts to Nook's Cranny, if you craft it into coconut juice, you'll get double the price of bells, right? So each coconut sells for 300 bells each, whereas one coconut juice sells for 600 bells each. So I crafted about 12 coconut juices and I made about 7,200 bells uh, just for 12 of them. So it was very easy. It took like a minute. All right, so the next three items that we're going to talk about are actually 2.0 items right uh, they're actually really profitable for crafting just because they're really easy to make uh, because this is the season of ornaments and you know toy day and stuff like that and uh, yeah so number three is this ornament reef right here and it's actually really easy to make and you can get ornaments from shaking trees you can actually get like unlimited ornaments right just from shaking the trees you just need one tree with lights on get as many ornaments as possible from that tree as long as there's room for more ornaments to drop it'll just keep producing ornaments it's pretty crazy it's pretty awesome but yeah um each ornament reef is worth 960 bells which is double the price of the goods if you were just if you were just to sell the ornaments you would get 480 but you craft into a reef get double the price all right, so number four is this ornament garland, right? Now, this DIY in particular requires two of all the ornaments, right? So you need two blue, two red, and two gold ones uh, to craft one of these. You'll also need five iron ores, all right? And for every one of these you sell to Nook's Cranny, you're going to get 5,220 bells. All right, and number four, this ornament tree. Now, the ornament tree requires a little less materials to craft than the ornament garland. For this one in particular, you need three red, two blue, one gold, and three iron ore, right? But yeah, if you have the reef or the tree or the garland, like any of these, uh, you'll be able to make some good bells. Like I said, they're just very easy to craft. Doesn't take a whole lot of materials, just need mainly ornaments, which are super easy to get around this time. All right, so number six is the shell partition. Now, these are really easy to make. Uh, you can find all the materials on your beach. You just need uh, seashells, right? So there's two different seashells that you need to craft one of these. Uh, you'll need the Venus comb and the cooch shell. I think you pronounce it cooch. I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm just going to go with that. 
But yeah, like, shells are, like, so easy to find. You can find them on your island, on Captain's Island. Though, I will say, though, there's not really a whole lot of shells on the Mystery Islands and the Captain Islands. I think I found, like, three seashells on one of the Captain Islands. So, a better way, if you're wanting to craft this, would most likely be just pick up all the shells along your beach. Because you're going to get, like, five times more shells on your beach than, like, at a Captain's Island. And then just time travel to the next day and just kind of stock up on it. And each one of these will sell for 9,600 bells. Oh, oh crap. Bees, run. Oh no, dude. All right, so I'm going to craft up the next item that's really good to sell if you are a beginner or just starting Animal Crossing. Now, you don't get a whole lot of bells with this item in particular, though it has the highest return on investment. All right. And that is the flimsy net, all right? I know that sounds crazy. Like, why the heck would I craft a flimsy net and sell it? <laughs> right? Well, you'll get four times the amount of bells for every flimsy net, all right? Because you only need five tree branches to craft one flimsy net, right? And if you sell just five tree branches, you'd only make 30 bells. But if you craft into a flimsy net, you get 120 bells. So you literally get four times the amount of bells for a flimsy net, which is pretty crazy. I know it's not a whole lot of bells though, but you know, it's, it's definitely the highest return on investment. All right, now it's time to talk about the very best DIY. Now, if you are one of my subscribers, you probably already know where I'm going with this. You probably already know what the best DIY is. However, if you aren't subscribed, it's your first time watching my channel, then let me show you the best DIY to craft, all right? That's right, Blue Rose Reef, all right? Now, getting Blue Rose Reefs and crafting them, you need Blue Roses, right? And this could be a little challenging because Blue Roses are the most difficult flower to breed in Animal Crossing. One of the most difficult. I think it's probably the most difficult. Let me just explain to you why Blue Roses are really awesome for crafting, right? So basically, if you breed a ton of blue roses like I got right here, you can sell these blue rose reefs, right? Uh, with the bell boom ordinance being turned on, you can actually get 960,000 bells for a full inventory's worth of blue rose reefs. And you can harvest your flowers every other day, so uh, it's definitely a great DIY to craft to make a ton of bells. If you want to learn more about Blue Roses and Blue Rose Reviews, be sure to check out my Blue Rose Guide. And uh, yeah, so that's about it for this video. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.